This is Jeff Cook with Crypto News, because the news is happening now. Cryptocurrency faces quantum computing problem. Quantum computers could upend the way pharmaceuticals and materials are designed. I thought that was a very interesting comment. And then here is the main gist of this article. The blockchain accounting technology that powers cryptocurrencies could be vulnerable to sophisticated attacks and forged transactions if quantum computing matures faster than efforts to future-proof digital money. Once quantum computing becomes powerful enough, then essentially all the security guarantees will go out the window, says Don Song, a computer security entrepreneur and professor at the University of California, Berkeley. Wow. We expect that within a few years, sufficiently powerful computers will be available for cracking blockchains open, said Nir Minerbi, CEO of quantum software maker Classic Technologies. Cracking those blockchains open like eggs. Something else that stood out to me in this article that I thought was pretty interesting. The U.S. government's National Institute of Standards and Technology, NIST, trying to get ahead of the problem several years into a careful process. So that tells us that the U.S. government has already been working on this stuff for years, which is really interesting considering that it's just now starting to hit politicians and start hitting the mainstream. The cryptocurrency wallets people use to keep track of their digital assets could also be vulnerable to quantum computing. The cryptocurrency wallets people use to to keep track of their digital assets, things like MetaMask, Binance Chain Wallet, could also be vulnerable to quantum computing. These wallets store private keys people need to access their assets recorded on the blockchain. A successful attack could empty a wallet. So not only are we going to have to be extra careful about not sharing our private keys or seed phrases with anyone, now we got to worry about quantum computing hacking our shit. Here's one for all you Bitcoin fans out there. Taproot is an upgrade that is going to be given to the Bitcoin network very soon. What is Taproot? It's going to give us increased privacy, lower fees, more flexibility, lightning boost. I'll go into that right now. Taproot will make complex transactions such as those requiring multiple signatures or those with delayed release indistinguishable from simple transactions in terms of on-chain footprint. It's going to lower fees by reducing the data size of complex Bitcoin's transactions, which will lead to lower transaction costs. It will be a new type of signature, making it easier and cheaper for users to set more complicated conditions for a transaction. Taproot will also make transactions on the Lightning Network cheaper, more flexible, and more private. So here we see a perfect example of why Bitcoin has so much potential, because after all, it is a technology and not just a currency. Taproot is the most significant upgrade to the Bitcoin Network since the block size increase of 2017. Bitcoin is a technology people a lot of people like investing in it it's worth a lot it's worth more than gold technically right now it's really sexy in terms of investment appeal but what a lot of people fail to truly realize is it's a technology when you buy gold you don't wonder how it will evolve while in the vault bitcoin on the other hand does evolve it did so in 2017 and will most likely do so again this year technology implies risk though things can go wrong code has bugs and or unintended consequences that's why it it is key that Bitcoin's upgrades are few and far between because they need to be carefully vetted and tested. All right, this is for all you NFT gaming fans out there. 72% of surveyed game developers are interested in using NFTs, those are non-fungible tokens, and blockchain technology. Revealing a notable appetite for these technologies, 72% of game developers express their interest in using NFTs and blockchain technology in new games, with 56% saying they plan to do so in the next year. That's really significant, people. Meanwhile, 64% argue that blockchain technology will become widespread in video gaming within the next two years. So either way, you have a good majority of video game developers acknowledging a lot of them are going to move into the NFT style games. This is a comment from Jean-Philippe Bernay, sorry, I probably mispronounced that. What blockchain enables is incredibly compelling. Players can now earn cryptocurrency while playing and trading digital goods both within and across games. That's really crazy to think about. I don't know if anybody has seen the movie Ready Player One. NFTs, things like Decentraland, Axie Infinity. This is the beginning, the infant stage of Ready Player One. You need to go watch that movie. The management consulting firm Activate Consulting holds the view that 
that NFTs will go mainstream by 2022. Never heard of them, but I agree. All right, people, this next one is particularly exciting. Right now in South Korea, Part of the political debate is whether or not to include cryptos into the economy. There is a politician in South Korea, please, I will probably mispronounce this, Lee Jae-myung has ramped up the stakes by suggesting that his party is seriously considering the notion of creating a crypto asset and handing tokens out to the entire nation. Wow. How significant is that? A few years ago, the majority of the world thought cryptocurrencies as not really that serious. It's a bubble. It's not going to really do anything. Now we have politicians from around the world, from different types of cultures, different types of economies and such, talking about this stuff. We need to create a foundation for issuing and circulating virtual assets that are recognized around the world. It is something of a revolution. It is akin to creating a new currency. I can't agree more. This guy knows what's up he's trying to help the world move forward into blockchain technology here is another interesting one for all you matrix fans out there warner brothers has teamed up with nifty an nft platform to release digital collectibles tied to the matrix resurrections which is the new matrix movie coming out if you haven't seen the trailer yet and you're a matrix fan well you gotta go watch it the studio aims to sell 100,000 matrix inspired avatar themed nfts that will go on sale starting november 30th at $50 each. Matrix NFT owners will be given the choice to take a blue pill or a red pill. Taking the blue pill will keep the avatar's character in the Matrix, while the other pill will transform it into a resistance fighter. Quentin Tarantino is getting in on the NFT game and he's gonna offer seven deleted scenes as NFTs. And Mila Kunis and Ashton Kutcher launched an NFT project in July to fund their upcoming animated show called Stoner Cats, which I'm pretty interested to watch that. Mila Kunis, Ashton Kutcher, Quentin Tarantino. These are a few of the big name celebrities that are getting in on the NFTs right now. So I would not hesitate, people. Thanks everyone for watching the first video of this channel. I'm excited to bring you crypto news every single week. Mainstream crypto news, deep cut crypto news. Either way, you're getting crypto news.